variety of the two rams over there? Two rams. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be right there. Cody, do you see it? Hunter's quest is heading to the great state of Texas in pursuit of two important sheep species, the Armenian mouflon and the red sheep. This quest takes us deep into the mountains of West Texas, some 200 miles from the city of El Paso. We will be hunting a ranch in excess of 100,000 acres, one of the few places where these sheep can be hunted on a free range basis outside of their native habitat in Iran. The sheep were introduced to this area over 30 years ago and since thrived. The terrain here is similar in nature to their natural habitat and has proved to be an excellent home for these animals. This expedition will be led by our outfitter, Rowdy McBride, who has an extensive knowledge of the land as well as these animals. Mountain hunts are intensely difficult. Days of serious glassing and climbing lay ahead. The sheep themselves are elusive. They have incredible eyesight, and in open country, a shot will need to be taken from some distance. The difficulties heighten further, as we will be hunting two different species, and we will need to spot a trophy amongst the vast herds. We're excited to bring you with us as we head into the mountains of West Texas in pursuit of the Armenian mouflon and the red sheep. Rowdy, that looks like some uh, good sheep there. Should I get on the gun? Yeah, you should. Okay. Get on the gun. You got it. Nice ram. Right below him is a ewe. Got it. Okay, I think I'm on him. Yep, I think I'm on him now. Is he moving his head over to the left there now? That's it. He's, okay. He's the one you want. Okay, then you're ready. Hey, Cody, you got him?
Wow. Incredible. Look at this. The uh, mass is really standing out to me on the sheep. Look at that big Roman nose. This is an old ram, an old ram. Incredible. They're not very big creatures, but they are magnificent. And the best part about it is, I didn't need to go to Iran. Even though I hope to hunt them there one day as well, this is an exceptional animal. In West Texas, with, with Mr. McBride. We are in the hills of uh, West Texas hunting Armenian mouflon and uh, red sheep. Two sheep that are recognized by Ovis as uh, free range uh, animals uh, found uh, in Iran. The uh, history of these animals is uh, quite interesting. Uh, a gift to the Williams Ranch from uh, Prince Abdul Reza from Iran. Uh, the uh, animals have flourished. Uh, they have done extremely well. I always, uh, and, and Rowdy uh, is also an avid sheep hunter, we were just discussing just a few minutes ago when we're hunting sheep, you know, we want a good old representative of the uh, species and every once in a while we're blessed with an exceptional animal. I am uh, extraordinarily pleased in, in getting a ram of this caliber and we will certainly uh, look forward to hopefully similar success with the race. Rowdy, right, are the two rams over there? Two rams, right behind these yuccas. Excellent, and one's a shooter, yeah? Yeah, they're both good. Both like the one on the right. The one on the right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, I'll be right behind you. Cody, do you see it? Ready?
Got it? Excellent. Looks like we got looks like we got ourselves a red sheep. The hunt in West Texas is over for now. Right into the between the two and then Yeah. You can see the crow from here. Yeah, I'm scared. Heck yeah. What do you think, Cody? There's some curl to that horn, huh? Holy Toledo. Two great sheep. Cody will be going to Iran to shoot smaller animals of these same species, my friend. Look at this. Broken a little bit here, but super old, super heavy. What a ram. What a ram. Look at the bib. A fighter. What a tremendous um, finish to our uh, hunt here in West Texas with uh, Rowdy McBride hunting uh, two uh, endemic species in Iran, the Armenian mouflon and the red sheep. We were able to uh, start our hunt focused on the Armenian and we were able to harvest a tremendous 10, 11 year old ram yesterday. And um, we've been hunting the uh, red sheep for the last day and a half. They're quite elusive in 80 to 100,000 acres for them to roam in. Um, we spotted several bands earlier today um, and we were able to uh, find uh, this tremendous ram bedded with a friend of his out of the wind. We were dealing with 30 plus or minus uh, mile an hour winds today. The weather has been in the low 40s, so the weather quite changed quite a bit from yesterday to today. But uh, we kept at it. It's uh, roughly around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And, um, you know, we are, I always feel you take what the mountains are giving you when you are sheep hunting, but um, when you can take animals that are old, that have great mass to them, uh, to me that is a much larger accomplishment, uh, especially in sheep hunting. So this red sheep, Rowdy pegged it, you know, closing in on nine, ten years, another very heavy, broomed, beautiful red sheep. Uh, to add to the collection. Uh, I look forward to one day hunting these animals uh, in Iran as well. Uh, however, I'll be hard pressed to find two better trophies than what we took here. We've had a tremendous uh, two days of hunting. Feels like we've hunted uh, quite a bit more. Uh, we were able to take a tremendous javelina uh, earlier today, uh, which I will also have uh, in my trophy room shot a few of them uh, over the years but uh, none that I've gotten mounted so we'll have that and uh, also did some predator control while we were uh, looking for the sheep uh, so again looking forward to coming back here at some point to hunt uh, Audad with Rowdy um, there are four or five hundred Audad sheep floating around here so we'll dedicate a hunt down the line to try and getting a, a big Audad ram but the goal was to take these two uh, sheep. We were able to get it done and uh, took two tremendous uh, sheep uh, to boot. Of the two sheep species we were after, the Armenian mouflon with its distinct wide sweeping horns proved to be more difficult and was the focal point of this expedition. These animals are quite impressive to say the least. Our outfitter led us up a canyon where on a prior hunt he had seen some mouflon and we were very lucky to spot a small herd of 15 animals which held two incredible rams. One ram was clearly older as defined by his heavier horns and pronounced Roman nose. A quick decision was made to take him. From 200 yards, with a deep breath and steady aim, 
I was able to place an accurate shot that instantly took him down. With this tremendous win under our belt, we now set our sights on the Red Sheep. While more plentiful in numbers than the Armenian Mouflon, these sheep are extremely elusive, and over the next several days, we had multiple failed stalks. As with all hunts, the wind plays an important role, and our luck began to change when the wind allowed us to close the distance on two bedded red sheep. Glassing these mountains has proven to be difficult, and now we had the opportunity to take a tremendous red sheep. A 300-yard shot was accurately taken from the prone position, and after a 20-yard sprint, the large ramp went down. Incredibly difficult terrain, coupled with the sheer intelligence of the Ovis species, made this hunt both challenging and exhausting. A bit of good fortune, expert guidance from our outfitter, and some accurate shooting allowed us to take two amazing sheep on this adventure. We at A Hunter's Quest thank you for joining us on this expedition through the rugged mountains of West Texas. We hope you enjoyed, and we look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.